let's talk about principles three. Here we have a reaction. Heat is also a product. This thing is giving off energy, giving off heat. If it's at equilibrium, then it's going left just as much as it's going to the right. And we presume that all these are, are at equilibrium for these problems. So what happens if we decrease the molarity of the NO? Brackets means molarity, by the way. So if we decrease the NO, the left side is weaker. It doesn't have as much NO to do its job of going to the right and making the stuff on the right. So which side is the strong side? Well, for a moment, the right side is the strong side, because I just said we weakened the left side. If the right side is the strong side, then it does a better job of going to the left than the left can do of going to the right. For a moment, this equilibrium shifts to the left. So what will the effect be on the concentration of N2? As this thing shifts to the left, it uses up the stuff on the right. How do you make the NO? You use these up. Think of these as the reactants and that as the product if we're going to the left. If, so if we're going to the left, the N2 goes down, the O2 goes down, and the heat goes down. So the N2 and the O2 go down. If we increase the temperature, well, in temperature, if we increase the temperature, then the heat must have gone up. The right side has now been empowered because you're giving it more of something it needs. So everything will shift to the left because if you empower the right side, it does a better job of going to the left than it did before. So what will happen to the O2? It will go down because we're using up the stuff on the right. What will happen to the NO? It will go up because we're going to the left. Decrease in pressure. Okay. This one gets a little more complicated. We have a gas, a gas, and a gas. If you decrease the pressure, well, you have more room to uh, accommodate these gases. Let's think of a balloon. Now we have a balloon, and if we stretch the balloon out, the volume goes up. And think about this, what happens to the pressure of the gases inside? They go, it goes down. The pressure goes down if you stretch the balloon out. So if you squeeze on the balloon, the volume goes down, and the pressure goes up. So, if we decrease the pressure, that's the same thing as saying the volume goes up. If the volume goes up, we have more room. We have more room for gas molecules.